It's a great honor and a privilege to introduce Chaim Shevach Lerman. We here in your wonderful apartment in Har Choma in Yerushalayim in Jerusalem. And uh, Chaim, you're originally from South Africa, and you have an incredible story about your family and your family history and the roots of your family. Thank you very much, Les. It's a, it's a, it's a big privilege for you to, to, to interview me about my family, everything. And uh, I'd like to start with my, with my, with my Boba and Zayda. My Zayda, he was born in the old city of Yerushalayim. And uh, his name was Harav Moshe Meyer Lerman. He was born in 1895 in Rehov HaYehudi, in the old city of Yerushalayim. And he was a baker. And um, he had his permit in 1908 in the old city of Shalayim. My Boba Batsheva, she was born in Yerushalayim as well. Her maiden name was, was Goldstein. And um, I don't think she was born in the old city. She was born in Yerushalayim somewhere, near near the old city. My, my Zayda, they had the bakery in the old city of Yerushalayim. And and that um, and then they lived and, and they lived in and after they moved to Petah Tikva. My my Boba, um, as I said, she was born in Yerushalayim, and she was um, she she's uh, her mother. Her mother was Fager, and uh, no no no, her mother was a Fager. Her mother was uh, Elka, and she came she came from Yassi, Romania, which uh, I've got a picture which I'll show you later. And do you know where your Zayda's family came from originally? My Zayda's um, father, his name was uh, Rav Rav Shmuel Lehrman, he was born in, in, in the old city of Yerushalayim. He was, he was, he was a baker. And um, he learnt in the, in the Eitz Chaim Yeshiva. And he lived in uh, they lived in Rehov, Rehov near Rehov Hayodi, Rehov Bizgad uh, Ladach, that's near the near thing. And uh, the house was overlooking the Kotel Maravi. So it's many generations. Many, in gener I mean, many generations of Yerushalmi, yes. My uh, um, Shmuel Lerman's um, father was um, he uh, it's not actually five generations it's three and a half generations his father came from uh, a place called uh, Bukovina Bukovina it was in it was in it was in like in uh, Ukraine in those days it was in Ukraine he was born in he was born in 1845, and um, he came to Israel when he was about seven years old. And um, and he said and he and he was a he was a malamed. He taught he taught he taught um, people in Chayd everything like that. And he was a shamash, a shamash in the in the show in um, in uh, one of the shows in the in the Eratica. Actually, uh, I've got a picture of of my of of, of of him. This was this this is him. His name was Yaharav Yakov Tzvi Hesh Lerman. He passed, he passed away, he passed away, he passed away in 1930. He's buried on Harris team. Actually, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a plot of Nan Matsevot on, on Harris team, which I've been there, and I've got pictures of, of, of the Matsevot. Um, his father 
was Moshe was Moshe Meyer Lerman. He was a Rusin Chosid. And actually, what I said, the Moshe Meyer Lerman, who, who, who I mentioned earlier, who was born in 1895, he is named after, after him. He came, he was born in Vas Vasiloy, Ukraine, in 1825. He was a he was a grandson of the Butchertzer Rebbe. And that was Avram David Verman, which Verman, which Lerman, was Verman had changed to Lerman. He was a big Hasidic Rebbe in 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 in, in, in Galicia. Moshe Meyer Lerman, Haram Moshe Meyer Lerman, he came to to Israel in 1852 with the help of Sir Moses Montiferra. He approached Sir Moses Montiferra three times because he to have pity on the Jews to bring him to Eretz Israel. So he came with his wife Yehudit in 1852 to, to Israel and they settled in the Eretika. And he was Nifta, he passed away in 1890 at the age of 65 and he's buried in a special section of has a team called Hasidim Sadigora it's uh, which 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 I which I would be on where I've been on the on the path day and um, he came and uh, and and what he used to do and when he came he was 27 years old when he came to to Israel to to sit in in, in Eretika and he, what well, he made a living, he used, sell, he used to sell flour, kemach, as a living. And um, and then it goes, then it goes all the way, it goes all the way back to, then it goes all the way back to the to the Masha, which I'm descended from, and, and maybe in fact my famous Hasidic rabbis, everything like that, and. And um, that way the 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 Shoshet starts like from Mazaida. It was his and the Shmuel, the Yaakov Tzvi Heshlerman, then Moshe Maya, then Yaakov, and then the Butcher River, and then all the way, all the way, all the way there. So, and then Moshe Maya Lerman, who was born in 1895, his son was Maaba. And Moshe Meyer Lerman, um, he he had he had about three he had about six cho uh, six children, three girls before and then three boys afterwards. That there was Malka, um, Rona, Tzipora, Yosef, Yitzchak, and Aaron. And um, okay, um, Malka was born in 1915, and Mazaida. He was in the time of the Turks when they when they were in the 1950s in those days in the Tur in the Turkey the Turks and everything he was he was put into the army but he ran away he ran to Bilak Tikva because he because he hated the army and um, and then and uh, my my, my great sailor Rav Shmuel Lerman he died very young at the age of 65. He died in his sleep, um, asthma, he had asthma. And his, um, Rabbi Shmuel Lerman and his wife, um, Chaya Hena Rocho, her maiden name was Siegel, she came from Latvia, Lithuania. And um, she was the same from the Masha as well. Her maiden name was Siegel. And um, she, uh, there was a big rabbi named Rabbi Harav Moshe Menachem Yosef Siegel, who was killed in Lodz near 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 uh, Kilis, 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 somewhere around that area, by the Nazis, uh, which is Mishpacha to me. And um, my my great Zayda and my great great Boba, they had fifteen children. Unfortunately, we don't know the five. Five died very young. We only know we only know about ten. And um, the, the, one of the children was my my Zayda, Yeah, and this is this, the, this 
this this is my Zayda and my Boba. Um, he was a he was a rabbi, but he didn't practice. He he was a, he was very learned and everything like that. Uh, my father, my father, he was born in 1922 in in the Eretika, and he was uh, he was he learned he learned Chayda in the Chuva. And he went to Yeshiva to Yeshiva at Hebron. In those, those days, Yeshiva at Hebron was, uh, I think, in Yerushalayim, I think, or in the way. And um, at the age of nine, at the age of nine, he was a, he was in the Rivlin, famous Rivlin choir, Shirat Yisrael choir, Shlomo Zalman Rivlin, who encouraged him, who encouraged my father to to, to singing was Mazeda, encouraged him to singing. He encouraged him, and he and he gave a lot of concerts in Israel and everything. He became the chief cantor of of Herzliya at the age of twenty. He was second cousin to cousin Levi the Glantz. And once I once I spoke to the chief rabbi Metz Metzner Metz Metzger, and I mentioned I mentioned cousin Lerman. He said yes, he remembers cousin Lerman from the show called Tiferet Tzvi in Tel Aviv when he when he davened there and and. And, and and that was that, that was it, yeah. And my, 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 at uh, fourteen, he learned he learned Chazan note um, by um, a famous Chazan um, a, chaz, a Chazan man, which I've got I've got it here somewhere um, of um, the, ch the chief cantor of um, of of Haifa. Um, the main, uh, the, yeah, the, uh, of the main chief chazan of operatic fame. He learned, he learned by chazan man. He has any thing in that thing. And after he died, he died in various shows in, in, in Israel. And in 1964, he moved to South Africa. Just before we go on with the, yes. you've got some amazing photographs I yes. think of your family. Um, yes, this, this, the top one, the top one is my is my aunt, is my aunt, my auntie, and the middle one, the middle one there is my father, and that's his two brothers. And this is taken in your shalim. This is taken in your shalim in 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 the old city. Do you know roughly about the year? That it was taken. Um, I would say the year is. I oh, no, no, sorry. This is taken in May Sharim. Sorry. Okay. It's about 19, 19, 1930, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yes, nineteen thirty. Um, this is this is uh, uh, this this is the whole this is the whole Lemon family. It's big. It's big. It's big like that. But this is the, this is this is half of it. That this this one yeah is my father three years old the little the little sitting boy on, on, his on his mother's lap mother's lap that's my that's my Zayda he was about thirty years old there and that's his brother-in-law and that, that that's that, that's his sister moved to America in 1942 which I know, I know the whole story why. That's another. That's another. That's that, that's my father's auntie. That's the two aunties. That's a, he was a cousin. That's the, that's the, that's an uncle. My father's uncle. That's another uncle. That's another uncle. And it's like the, that's the children there. And this was also taken in Yerushalayim. This photo. This picture was taken in the old city of Yerushalayim. Oh, such a in 19, 1925. Wow! What an amazing family. 1925. And um, this is this is this is my this is my this is my father's remittance speech, which is said in 1935. I'm sorry, this picture was taken in 1925. This is the remittance speech. My father he spoke in 1935. That when Ralph Cook was Nifta. And the other pictures. This. This is my um, Boba and Zayda when they got engaged. 
he was he was he was 20 she was 18 you can see they're not holding hands they were very very Haredi very from very religious yeah. very very religious yes very religious this was taken in the in the era in the era to care and also I would to, I would say about that my, uh, I would say about in the 1900s about that about that thing yes um, this is the, this is the this is the shuk where my where my boba used to used to do the shopping, and the house was and and my father's house was not far from there, from the from the shuk. Near the near the near the Arab shuk. Hmm. Which one? Yeah. This in front. This one. This one is is my is is Shmuel's ma. This is Shmuel, this is Shmuel's father, Harav Yaakov Tzvi Hesh He was he was he was a, he was he was a, he was a Shamus. That's his that's his second wife, and that's her that's her that's her grandchildren. Uh, you can see the way you can see the way they dressed in the, in 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 in, the, in in your shalim there the, the Hasidic garb and everything like that. It's very like um, thing. Very um, thing. Um, this this is a 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 uh, his name is um, Harav Kugel. He was he was my father's cousin. His 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 mother was was um, this woman. Yeah, she was a Lerman. He had he he had a he had a yeshiva near Geula called Shvutami. It was for it was for Russians and everything. At the moment, it's it's, it's closed now. It's not it's not it's not operating and 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 that's it. That's when they, that's when they got they, when they got when they were when they were engaged and everything. And this is my father and my Zayda. That's my father. He was about 20 years old there, and my dad was about about 60 something there. They all say I look like my father. There is a resemblance. <laughs> they all said the whole the whole the whole the whole family the whole family said this was ta this was taken in somewhere in um, Tel Aviv, and my father was about Tel Aviv Beach in 1942. 42. 42. 42, yes. On the 17th of the 3rd, 1942. Yes, yes, yes. I think my father was about maybe 20 something there, something like that, something like that, yes, something like that, yeah. This is my, this is my, this is my Zayda again, and everything, and, um, and the pictures of my father. This is your father you can see as a Khazan. Yes, yes, the, the, the Khazan, yes, yes, everything like that, you know. And these pictures were taken when I think he was a Khazan still in Israel. Uh, this was taken in, this was taken here, this was taken in Petach Tikra. What happened, what happened in that, uh, they moved, they moved, they moved, they moved from the old city to May Sharim. Because in the old city, it was very, it was very, it was very hard in the old city. And after that, they lived in a place called uh, Sharei Pina. It's like a small, small, small alley. After that, uh, they were, they, after they moved the bakery to to May to there, and I'll explain I'll explain that to you. And then after um, they moved to Petach Tikva, but while they moved to Petach Tikva, it was very hard in Yerushalayim. Most of the family stayed in, in Yerushalayim, and a lot of people stayed and, and they moved to Petach Tikva. But, uh, and, and when he was needed in the bakery in Yerushalayim. They, um, his his sister dressed him dressed him up as a, as a woman, put a shato on, and 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 got him through to Shalim, and after going back to 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 Be'er Tikva. And what year was that roughly? That was in the uh, that was a roughly uh, 19, 1937. So we're talking here. Well, well, it was under the British. Uh, it was under mandate. the British, yes. And, and he, she sneaked him out into Shalayim, dressed him with a shuttle, shaved his beard a bit, and everything, and, and everything, yes. 
we had the problem with the, the, the Arab riots and well, the Arab riots and everything like that, yes, and, and everything. British white paper, there were a lot of things happening with the a lot of happening and restrictions. And, was, and that's why that's why my Abba never hardly spoke about it. He never spoke about the, his yichas and something like that about the family. But he said it was very hard. He said it, and he never, and he never, and when he went to South Africa, he never spoke. He never spoke. You know that. He never spoke. He didn't tell anybody. Not everybody knows who the Lermans were, who Chazal Lermans was, everywhere he came from. They just know he was, he came from, from Israel and everything, you know that. And, um, and I've done, I've done, I've done a lot of research, everything. And like uh, when, when the Lermans came, the Lermans came from a very Chazal Mishpacha. The surname was Verman and they changed to Lerman, everything like that. And like the Chotzei Melublin, Mishpacha and everything, you know. My Abba didn't, didn't talk about it, you know that, you know, he didn't want to, to to have the the, the yichas, you know that you know, and after after I started and I started I started making the the family tree everything and um, everything and so I know the whole I know the whole story and everything like that you know and um, start counting the, uh, the, the the pictures everything and I've got letters about this from letters like that uh, from, from from family everything and and this and that and it's very it's like very very special to me and everything and you know and um you know. did you ever ask your father about the I asked my asked I asked my father he said he's he's he spoke to me just a little bit he says um he changed he changed like the subject because a certain rabbi came up to him once came for lunch to us in South Africa rabbi Rafael Kitts and he said to him cousin um tell me about the old city of Rishalayim tell me Tell me about everything, and he started telling him everything. And after he said, he said, "Now, Rabbi, I think we should bench." But then the Rafael asked him a certain question, and he said, "I can't answer that question." Like in other words, it was very hard for him to to answer that question. In other words, he, did, he didn't want to talk about his yichas. He, he, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't um, feel like I'm talking about it. I said, where did the, where did the Lermans case said the Lermans were always named Lerman. But after I did, I did research, everything, like I, in the, in the Shulchan Aruch, Kitchen Shulchan Aruch, and um, the Aruch HaShulchan, and I found the connection, I found it going way, way back, all the way part to David HaMelech, and like, um, like um, this, this is like a, a family chart, which, which, which someone gave me, and it's it's all the way to David Amelech. Who made this chart? This is incredible. This is the family chart of your family. Very much, yeah, but, 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 but not of Lerma, but of, of guys going all the way like, all the way like Shlomo Luria and everything. It's all connected to me. My father, my father, my father, my father, my father, my father, my father didn't talk about it. He said, his house was opposite the hotel, and um, where, 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 where you should where the hotel is, his house was there. And if, if we have, if we still got, if we, if we, if we, if we got still time, or we could, we could, we could make another time or whatever, I could tell you stories, everything, you know that, you know. No, and any stories that he told? <sighs> like, uh, like uh, we, 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 we went, oh, we went, um, his father died in 1967, got run over by a car. He was coming back from Slichot and the car, the car having about think about the car hit him and they rushed him to, to Madison Hospital and he died six days uh, six days later. When my father came to Israel, he they couldn't tell my father because he was davening at the Amud. But you know he happened and Pamper Rosh Hashona and uh, we couldn't tell him after 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 Simcha Torah. So then after we went to Israel afterwards and and um and we went to the. Um, I was a, I was a baby. They went to the house where the where he lived. My father went. My mom went. My brother went. My mom went, and his and his sister and and his brother-in-law, and they all went there. They went. An old Arab woman came out. She knew my aunt. My aunt spoke Arabic. Then she said, she said, "Who is this man?" So my aunt said, this is Yitzchak. She said, I remember when he was a little boy. When they moved out of the Eratika, when they moved to May Sharim. And, 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 and my, father, my father told me the story. 
my father was born at home his governor Dach. his 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 um his uh, midwife was um this woman yeah her name was Boba Mumcha. they called her Boba Mumcha. I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. I don't know. And um, and that and 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 and, and that's it. This is the this is the this is the, this is like half a family tree, which it goes all from from there to all the way up to the Book of Sarev, everything like that. Actually, I've got a family tree. It's all my cover, but it's hard to get down. So I'm able to get down. This. Is my father's date of birth. It's amazing that you've kept it. That, uh, I've kept it. I've, I've kept. I've kept everything. Now this, this, this is another thing. Is from the, the from the Baal Shem Tov. The limits are uh, the limits are descended from the Baal Shem Tov. About about seven generations, something like that, something like that, you know. And um, it's very, it's very thing. And then this is this is like the origin, the origin of the of the family tree. It was very much changed to Larry and everything like that, you know. And, and this and that. So my father came in '64 to South Africa. He was brought out by cousin Eddie Greenblatt. I don't know if you heard of him. He was in, he was in, um, sir, um, uh, uh, Santa Maria's North Shore. He didn't know a word, he didn't know a word of English, and after he was, became the cousin in Germiston Show. after cousin Kamena. And, um, he was, uh, he was about 40, 42 when he came to Israel. Well, I mean to South Africa, sorry. 40, no, 44, 44. 1966, he met he met my mom. They got married in Dorfer Tinsho, who was a, who, who who officiated was was Shlomo Mandel, Rabbi Rabbi Loy, Rabbi Schiff. Those those, those those rabbis, those rabbis. I've got the video, but in those days there was no there was no thing, no sound. He was in Dorfer Tinsho for three years. After, after he got the job in Genhazer, surely in 1969, he was there for 30 years. Taught over a thousand Bar Mitzvah boys in, in the Chayda and the Bar Mitzvahs, everything. And he taught people Nusachs and everything. So he was the first cousin in Yeshiva College? He, he was the Hazel. first cousin. There was a son before, but he was like this a person that this dove and everything like that, you know. But the first official. The first official thing in 1969 was a young Rabbi Tenzer. Yeah. <laughs> young Rabbi Tenzer. And um, he taught, he taught, he, he and, and I remember he gave her, he dubbed very well. People people remember his, his dubbing and everything like that. When I asked people, everything like that, you know. And um, it's from, he's from a family of not only um, Chazonim, but Rabbonim and Hasidic Mishpacha. And they were bakers, and they learned in the, learned in the Eitz Chaim Yeshiva, he learned in the Chayde in Achuva, and in the Chevron in Yeshiva, and, um, and um, we used to have a two-seater room on the Bema, and um, why, I don't know what the reason why for that is. And um, he did, uh, whenever I used to talk, I said to him, Abba, tell me about it, he said, no, he changed the subject, in other words, you know, he, he didn't want to do what you do what you talk, he did what he did what he talk about the uh, about the family and the snatch, you know, and the, this and everything, you know. It was it, it was it was very it was very it was very it was very hard for for my abba to talk about the about the the family and about everything else like that. It is also family of mine, connected to the Lermans. It's very very uh, pious and very religious. Yes, it's also family of mine. Everything like this, uh, yeah. From Yerushalayim. Or Yerushalmi, or this woman, yeah, she was she she was a grand a granddaughter to the first Rav Moshe Meir Lerman. Her name was Yehudi. She named after she's named after her Boba. And uh, yeah, so and um, 
But otherwise, otherwise the, 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 the family, the family didn't, didn't speak about, didn't speak about the. Uh, about 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 the yiches and everything like that. It was, it was very, it was very, uh, if we can show this picture yeah. here, this is a picture of your your. Uh, this is a picture. Of, this is a picture of my father. It says it says Yehazel Lerman, a very sure going to find what was one of the finest chazon. What was the finest chazonim? We can take it out the plastic, and if you could read yeah, it, yeah, sure. But it's amazing. very hard to read. In, in, it's very hard. In, in, I don't. Uh, it says, yeah. It says, yeah. Chazon Yitzchak Lerman, Itzger von Untergre, Feine Chazonim, Frage und die kann ich mit sehen. Er kann die Chazon von den Klingeln Heiser Schul, kein kein Daver, was er schon über Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur und zu Gott. He didn't, he didn't, as I said, my, my, my father didn't, didn't look, didn't, didn't, didn't look for, didn't look for, didn't look for you. There's one picture here, yeah. oh yeah, this picture, yes. This, this, this woman, her, her, her name was Elka. She was the mother of my Boba. She was born, she was born in Yassi, Romania. Her father, was Baruch, and and and, and as a, as I understand, the family name was Salant, Israel Salant. I'm connected to Rabbi Israel Salant from the Musa movement. As I said, um, Liz, my Abba hardly did hardly didn't speak about it. Chaim, can I ask, what yeah, about sure. relatives? Did anybody come visit in South Africa, or did your Abba? You used to go visit often go back to to israel to visit my, my, abba, my abba went back my abba went back to israel to visit his brother his brothers he, he went to visit his brothers he went to he went to to see to visit his sister his sisters he went back but but when he was in south africa he um he hardly kept in contact you know i was i was the person who kept in contact with everybody you know that in other words you know did you go as a small child also back to Israel quite often? Well, the first time I went back to Israel, well, I was in '67, when I was a little, when I was a little boy. To make to make it short, I'm legally Israeli, because of my father. Because my father, because like, uh, so my my, my, my Zayda registered me when I was a child, when I was a baby, in in Israel. So that's me. So I'm Israeli. And growing up, did you used to go? When you were yeah, yes, yes. We, we we went to Israel. We went to Israel to visit the family, everything you know. And um, when my Zainab was was Nifta, she, um, we we told my father. We told my father afterwards. And that's when we went to. That we went to. We went to to Israel. We went to visit the Kever and everything. And on my father's Matzeva, each each letter going down it says Moreno Harav Moshe Maya Lerman and each letter Mem Shin and then and, and, his, and his mother Batsheva Bet Shin Ayin and etc going the letters going down and she and they buried in Segula next to each other and as I said there's a gush on Harazay Tim and I've been it's there it's yeah on Harazay Tim yes and Chaim growing up in your family was there a lot of music that your father used to sing at home? Um, you mean on Shabbat? On Shabbat or even during well, the Well, my father, we, we, my, father my, my Abba never sang Smirot because um, his father, when his father used to come home, he used to be very tired from the bakery. They used to start, they used to start working at about three o'clock in the morning. And they said it was like a Gehenna, you know, like in the back, it was so hot and everything. And um, my Abba never, 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 we never sang. On Pesach, we used to sing, we used to be Lebedic and everything like that, everything, you know. And on Shabbos? Uh, we never, we hardly, we hardly sang, we hardly sang, we hardly sang. Because, you know, what he did, what his father, we did what his father used to do and everything like that, you know. 
And where was the bakery? The bakery was first in, in, in our city, in Rehov. Um, I got a picture about it, so in the room, I, I don't know where it is. And in South Africa, was your father involved in, in the bakery as well? Or? He baked khala. Once he baked over a thousand khala, was a queue staying at South Fairmount. And he baked it? Yes, I helped him, I remember. But his main profession was being a chazan when he, he was, was a chazan and he was a Bermitsu teacher and he was a baker. But all together, he was a Yerushalmi. And where did he, did he bake as also as a bit of a profession in South Africa? Yes, yes, yes. For, yes. for which bakery do you remember? Well, he, ba he baked for us. And when people heard he's a baker, then, they, then, they, then there was a queue outside from, 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 from Fairmount to all the way to Yeshiva College, nearly. So during the week when he wasn't so much involved with giving uh, bar mitzvah lessons or with the show, he baked. He baked. Yes. And did he instill this love of Chazonis to his children? Well, um, not really. Well, um, he taught. He taught me the. He taught me the Nusach for Rosh Hashanah Kippur, which I used to do in the country. And and he said to me, he said, Chaim, the main thing is the Ikar is, is the words. The Nusach is important, but the main, the main. Thing is the words, like there's a chazan ben yamin ben 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 yamin mula. I mean, quite a good thing he entered. He said he's, he's got very fond memories of my father. He's one of the great chazanim from yeah. the very distinguished mula family. Yes, 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 yes. But he remembers my father very well from South Africa. He used to be the chazan at Sinem Shul and everything like that. You know. But he never wrote at home, you know, um, he, he said, and he said, he used to read the paper and everything like that, you know. Did he teach you your bar mitzvah? He taught me my bar mitzvah, yes, and I've got my bar mitzvah speech still. And as I said, this is, this is my father's bar mitzvah speech. And um, this, this is a letter dated 1921. Which, yeah, which um, my great Zayda, Yaakov, ya Yaakov, 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 which ya Yaakov Herschlerman wrote to his son in America. The, the, letter, the letter is in Yiddish, talking to wishing him a good Pesach and everything. Half of the Lerman family moved to the States, but they wanted to make a good living there, and it was very, <coughs> it was very hard in Yerushalayim, but there was, there was cholera and everything like that, you know, and everything and this and that, you know, that's why they, the half of the family moved to, 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 to the States, and till this very day, I'm in contact with this, the, the descendants. And are you in contact with part of the family that remained in Yerushalayim? I'm in contact with, with, with the whole family. And they accept you very well? They accept me very well and everything. I've been to the Smachot. And, and they're everything. very Haredi, they're very rich. Very Haredi, Strymals, everything. A funny thing is, a funny thing is, when my father moved, when my mother moved to South Africa, we moved to get Hazel Shul, he had to change the Nusach. Because yeah, he David uh, Nusach Sfarad. And, <clears throat> and also he had to change his kippah. Because again, Hazel was Mizrahi. And in Israel, yeah, he wore a black kippah. So we went there, he had to change his kippah. They said only the rabbi can wear a black kippah. That's, that's, that's the truth, Liz. How did my father come to South Africa? Not only through um, Eddie Greenblatt, Sendelis. He went in, in the 1960s, or I think 19, before 64, to the show in Herzliya where my father was davening. He heard my father daven, went back to South Africa, and Todd is a very good cousin. We need to get him here in, in, in South Africa. 
a lot of and then contact noise. contact Eddie Greenblatt and the whole thing and anyway and, and, and that that's that that's that how he heard my father in Herzliya he said uh, my father was very young in those days and uh, talking about uh, I'll show you the, I'll show you the picture earlier and he said there's a very good cousin in Herzliya he's got to we've got to bring him to to South Africa they contact Eddie Greenblatt and, uh, and and that's how my father came to even my father forgot his passport here and then they got to say we got out the passports <laughs> in those days you could get I think an emergency way yeah he left his passports here and everything like that but uh, can I ask did your father ever say he had regrets that he came to South Africa or was he very happy being in South Africa um, it's a good question um, he was brought out to South Africa but uh, when he came to South Africa all his life he uh, he did a change into to South African citizenship. Oh, he kept his. Uh, he kept. We kept on renewing his Israel. He kept on showing me, a suburb you showing me, born in the old city and everything, and to the till the day he he passed away, which was two thousand and five. Yud Zayin Kislev. He's buried in Har Menuchot. We wanted to do work to the Harris 18, but we couldn't get because that, that time at night was very, very dangerous, you know, the Sakana and everything. And then my uncle wanted a um, better ticket because um, we do like come all the way to Shalai and everything like that. So, but till he made, he moved to South Africa, till the day he, he was he passed away, he remained in Israel, he showed me. And when did you ever come to, back to Israel? Did you retire ever or? Um, this is gonna be a bit hurt. Uh, he didn't retire. Um, I have to say this. Let's have to say this. If it's difficult, then that time to go from the show. So he must have been very upset. He went into depression, everything like that, to you know, and everything like that, to you know. And um, and what what did he do after that? Did he? He was at home and everything. He, he went to shows. He went to shows. He went to shows. Still everything like that, to you know, and everything. And then after he went, he used to go to Dublin and Mahasha. And when did he did and what the, was he lifted in South Africa? He was lifted in South Africa. I remember the day. I remember it was the Pasha's by Yishlach, and um, he. Uh, I gave him. I, gave, uh, I, gave, I, I, I refused to go to Shul. Any Shabbos. People asked me why would I why would I not go to Shul? I said um, I'm not going to Shul because my other's more important than anything else. Um, so that Shabbos, I called the doctor, and the, the, the doctor says it's not good. It's not good. And um, Sunday morning, it was Yudza and Kislev. I gave him breakfast. I made him an egg, everything like that. Twelve o'clock, he was nifter. And then, and a few nights before, we were talking about the mishpacha. And everything he was telling me, he says, he says, he was talking, he mentioned his brothers, he mentioned his sisters, he mentioned this, he mentioned that, everything like that, you know. And um, once he said, he said, he said to me about the door, there's, a, there's, a, there's someone who wants to, someone wants to kill me. And I asked, I asked the rabbi this question, I asked uh, the rabbi was Rabbi Trevor Rosen, you know, Trevor Rosen. He said, that, he said, what your father saw, your father saw the Malachim of it. My father was one, one of the one of the Lamed Vav Tzadikim of the Eretika. He was like a like, he was like a famous person. Now he didn't speak about anybody else. He was he used to sit in a lounge, he was like that, and he never spoke of he never spoke about he never spoke about the Yerushalayim. This it was very hard, everything like that, you know. And this he used to go we we went to Israel with his family and this and that, you know. His one, his first cousin was also a cousin. He went to America, Arab Davis, and everything like that. And he, he worked in the bakery, everything like that, and everything. You know, it was like very hard. It was very, very difficult. But time it must have been very difficult for you to have your your other buried here in Eretz Israel. Uh, when we when we came when we came for my sister's um, son's bar mitzvah, 
in 2005. It was his last time he was seen in Israel. We were coming home, and after he said, where are we going? I said, Abi, no, I, I spoke to him in Hebrew. We, we spoke to him uh, 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 at a very young age. I spoke to my Abi in Hebrew. And my parents spoke Yiddish. That's where I know Yiddish from. So I said to my Abba, we go, we're going home. He says, no, we go to our flat. You see over there, there's our flat. There's our flat. We go. I said, no, we're going home. In other words, that was the last time he, he was, he was, he was, he was putting his foot in the air to Israel. But it's a great scoot, it's a great honor that he was yeah. buried. And you see, if, if anything happens, let's bury me in Israel. And it's a wishful thing. And, we, and then Sunday morning we flew out. And, um, and I remember Stephen Adler was on a plane, everything. And, um, and, and also the other doctor was John Solitan. And so Jonathan Solitan said to me, you know Jonathan Solitan? He said to me, um, where's, where's, where's the cousin? Where's your Abba? I said, well, 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 why are you asking? I said, he's here. He said, where? I said, it's by the luggage. Okay. And he went, he went what? He went what? Jonathan's also, he's got a beautiful voice. He's got a... Yeah, yeah, so it's very hard, you know, when I, when I see pictures, when I see this, this is my, this is my, my cousin, cousins, everything, you know. When I, when sometimes when I, when I talk when I, when I talk when I talk about I talk about these things that sometimes it, it hurts you know that you know sometimes it hurts me everything like sometimes he asks me questions or and this and that you know I try to answer everything and this and that you know it's very hard you know when I go when I go to the cave or anything like that you know I've got my mom buried in South Africa and everything she also comes from a very um, important family from the point of view of Rob, everything like that you know. So I know, I know from I know from my father, from the Lumen side, I know from my great Boba side where they came from and everything like that, and I know their families, everything like that, and this and that. You know, I found a lot of family from the states. I'm correspond with email, WhatsApp, everything. Wonderful. And um, and Kai, did you ever want to become a cousin yourself? Um, no, no, I've got a, I've got a good voice, but but no, I don't I don't want to come. I don't, I don't want to come. No, no, I don't want to come. Become a cousin. No. You know, when I, when I hear, when I hear, when I hear the other chazim dabbing, you know, when I sing a certain part or something like that, it brings back memories. I said to myself, my father, my father sang that, I remember like Tao and everything like that, you know, when I got concerts, it's a net, you know, sometimes I have tears in my eyes sometimes, and everything like that, you know, it's very, it's very, very emotional, everything like that, you know, and so that, you know. That's when my father, when my, that's my father never sang at the Yom HaShoah at West Park Cemetery. For the six million, he never, because he says it's very emotional. He he said the the other chazalim can sing. He said they asked him they they they, they asked him they said chazalerman chazalerman, would he would he do the haskara like the six million the El Kemelo Chamim Ani Mamin? Mava said no, it's very emotional. And Chaim, did your father ever? partake in any concerts, Kazonis concerts? He gave one concert, one concert in, in South Africa with all the Kazonim. But otherwise, he, as I said, as I said uh, he didn't look for Yichas, he didn't look for Yichas. Other Kazonim, they give concerts, they like, my Abba wasn't like that, you know, my Abba wasn't like that, he didn't. He gave one concert, concert in 1966 with all the Kazonim, with Moshe Kraus and Eddie Greenblatt, Shmuel Shoma Mando, and all these Kazonim, you know. But he didn't, he didn't, um, he didn't um, give any concerts. In, in Israel, he gave concerts. He made records, but I don't know where the records are. We were up to this very day, I'm trying to look for them, and I can't, I can't find them. In South it. Africa, did he make any recordings? He made, he made, he made Nus, Nusachim, Nusach, Nusach, for for thing, yes. For Nusach, but um, he didn't make, he didn't make any, any, any other records. And yes. growing up, did your father, were the other Chazonim, did they have, like a, a friendship that they all mixed yeah, together. Yeah, yes, I was very friends with very friends with him. I, I was going to, I was going to get more pictures, but I don't know where they are. They're somewhere in that thing. I, I can say to you, what's up, maybe. Uh, they had uh, the Cantor Association, where all the Chazonim got together, and I used to go with. I used Do you to remember go, the other Chazonim? I used to go. I used to go with. Actually, actually, I played stuck with Chaim Eliezer Hirschstick. We came to my room. I remember. I remember. And um, and all the Khazir used to sit, they used to sit down, they used to talk, everything like that. I remember I, my mother used to take me. I, 
I, I remember vaguely because so it's so, 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 so it's and I remember, I remember all the Chazonim used to talk about that one Chazon used to speak about this guy by the other guy this Chazon used to talk about this guy by he used to talk about, talk about this guy they, they, they talk about the rabbi the rabbi talks this long this one talks about this long this is everything they used to, all the Chazon used to talk about talk about um no, 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 it's the politics. Yeah, they uh, talk, they say, this rabbi talks this, on, on this long. This one talks this. They talked about the gabai, and they used to say about what time did you finish? What time did you finish? What time did you finish? I'm telling you, I, I, I remember all this. I'm telling you, <laughs> I was like a little boy. I used to go. I see. I, I used to enjoy. I used to enjoy it. And let me just ask because it's. Johannesburg had incredible chazonim, the world famous chazonim. They had incredible chazonim. They had, um, I don't know where, I don't know where, the, the, uh, and I've got a paper here of, of, of the chazonim, I don't know where it is. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know where, actually, I don't know where, I don't know where it is, sorry, I don't know where it is. I've got a picture of the chazonim, and um, they had, but that, they had uh, Mando, they had Kraus, they had you name it. I'll, I'll send it to you on WhatsApp. The picture of the Chazan. Uh, Chazan Bagley, there was Bagley and everything. I'm telling you. And they, all, they, they had really some amazing. They, they all, but they all got together. Dude Fisher was your father friendly with Dude Fisher. I, I remember Dude Fisher. I remember I know Dude Fisher very well. I remember Dude Fisher. I remember when I remember when Benjamin Mallet. Um, I remember Eric Klein. I remember that. I, I remember um, Benjamin Mallet fish about two o'clock in. Um, Two two, uh, two o'clock in in Sydney. I used to go listen. To, I used to go to Sydney show, and uh, when I came home, my abba says to me, um, "I know why you late." It was a nice concert there. I can imagine. <laughs> With oh, she took it up in the choir and everything. He says, "I know why you late." It was a nice concert there. When I got home, I was having the nearly finished lunch. I used to go to Sydney. I used to go to Sydney. I'm telling you. I think one of the amazing things with Glenn Hazel show. Is they never had a choir because the cousin was the they, main. They didn't, need a they choir. didn't need a choir. They didn't need a choir. They, you know, it was the choir. The congregation was the choir. There was four sections in and Hazel should um, less. The sleeping, the talking, the dabbling, and that was going on. And I, and I stories about back in Hazel should. I remember a young rabbi Tanza. I remember. It, it, it brings a lot of memories, I'm telling you, it brings a lot of memories in the world. And my father was there, we came from Israel and everything like that, you know, this and that, you know. I need to stop crying now. It, 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 brings, it brings a lot of memories, I'm telling you. It's very emotional. It's very emotional, I'm telling you. I grew up there and everything. When I came to Israel, when I remember I, I met family, everything like that, it was, it was, my wish outstanding, I'm telling you. It was, it was, it was, it was something special. In other words, I come from a very um, prestigious mishpacha and everything, and like you know, and I know many stories, and uh, maybe we can do this again, maybe. And um, so, Chaim, you must have been very, very proud on the Yamim Noraim when you heard your your Abu Dhabi in show, and it must have given you such a sense of. Well, I remember, I remember, um, um, uh, 79, 75, I was nine years old, we finished, we finished about, we finished about half past two. And the, ra- and the, ra- and the there was a rabbi from Kirin Bayavne, his name was, um, I don't know what his name is. Rabbi right? Rivlin, there was a rabbi Yeah, Rivlin. Rabbi Rivlin, Rivlin, yes, yes, I spoke to him, I said, I said to him, remember, because he says, we doesn't know how to learn, and, and I spoke to him, I said, you remember, I said to somebody, you know, remember now, 75, now so we five we finished about after half past two. Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, after half past two, um, Les, half, half past two. Now I know, now that if, 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 I don't know if, if Baruch Tanzu would know or Dovi or thing, but, but if Rabbi Tanzu was alive now, he would remember. I remember um, David Hollander, I remember um, Don Frigat, I remember those boys, um, David Lepin. And, and I remember all the all the all the all the rabbis that came to the Shiva College there. I used to I remember I remember, I remember the late Rabbi Shlomo Goran. He knew my, my father very well. I remember when he came to Yeshiva College when uh, we met him. Shav, Shavuot, Shavuot. Um, Shlomo Goran was giving well, was giving a talk before the before the learning. I was sitting in the back. Someone was someone was snoring very loud. I kept my I kept my laughing inside. I remember. I remember this uh, Rabbi Zalti, Rabbi Zalti, we came to Shiva College. I remember all these rabbis, I'm telling you, uh, Rabbi Hollander. I like I, I like I grew up with him, like I grew up with these with these Rabbonim and the Chazoim. It was it seemed like in my blood, you know what I mean, you know. 
It was the late Rav Pfeiffer. Rav Pfeiffer, yes, yes. Fachla on the Megillah, Megillah, on the Megillah, Esther, when you read the Megillah. I remember mean, Rosh Hashanah that when a rabbi, when a rabbi, when a rabbi, when there was a man, there was a man, a policeman, walking, walking up and down, up and down in the corridor there, hitting all the kids. Put the, put the kids making a, making a record in the, in the thing there. And then there's the two security guards guarding by the women's section there. I remember everything. I, I was sitting right by the, by, by the door there, I'm telling you. And Chaim, did your father ever tell you who his favorite cousin was? <laughs> no. No, no, no. He listened. He listened. He listened to a lot of, lot of, lot of and everything like that. You know, like um, I think he sang in the choir with Yosef Rosenblatt and Hirschman. I think so. I mean, that he talking, talking about nineteen thirty something like that. You know, because I think, but he didn't tell me who was his favorite cousin. I used to listen to Paravotti as well. You know, that the three tenors of that. You know, and. Um, and um, he did tell, he did say who his favorite cousin was. No, I don't know, I don't think so, I don't remember, no. And where did he give the bombets for lessons? Did, did people come to your home or did he used to go to the house? He taught, he taught me at the, at the Menorah Primary School in the, way, in, the, in the classrooms there. I remember, I remember. I remember and he taught, he taught at home also. And um, some, some, of, some of the time we didn't play, play um, tricks on him, you know. Like there's the, the, there's a David Co- David um, Carno, if you name. They're the two brothers. They're two brothers. So he taught one, and the other one comes and he says, to him, "I just taught you, but no, that was my brother. I just taught you, but they, they, they taught it to you." And some boys didn't, didn't come didn't come for their lessons. He used to he used to go to, he used to go up. You know you know um, Brook uh, thing. Joe he, Brook. Joe Brook, his son. He taught his son. He taught his taught his, his sons. They didn't come for the lessons. They used to go up and fish. to put them by the ear and come and put them by the. And I'm telling you, we used to. I'm, I'm telling you, we used to, uh, uh, at how we used to, this used to be us. You know that you know. Maybe you show me Cholin, you show me Kugel, and everything. You know. It used to be and and Pesach used to be everything. I like, think when my father when my father passed by the first side, I my father remember the letter about gold farm. I said, you know, I can't, I can't do the rest of the set, I can't do it, you know. And he said, he said, this got up to a certain point, everything like that, you know. And we were, and Rabbi Goffa was very fond of my father and everything, and everything, they let Rabbi God find. And um, Rabbi Kushtak knew, Rabbi Loy, Rabbi Loy, Rabbi Loy, he knew, knew my father very well. He married my father in Dwarf Adit Shul, the Lion Shul, still stands to this very day. And um, it, it was very, it was very, it was very, it was very, um, very special, you know, that you know, growing up um, 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 in, a, in, a, in an environment like this, everything I get to know. And um, when my father got sick, and um, we uh, we got a nurse, and then the nurse, uh, my mom spoke to me in Yiddish, not for the for not for the nurse to understand. And my father, well, I spoke to my father, my mother in Hebrew, so you know, I showed her Kodesh. And not for not for the nurse to 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 understand what you're talking about. In other words, and my parents, I mean, spoke in Yiddish, everything like that. And and we and when my father passed away, everything like that. You know, when my father was in the hospital, so all those things. Me and my mom used to sit in the in the lounge, and um, we used to talk about the family. Yeah. We used to talk about the family and everything in there. To this very day, I, 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 I miss, you know, I miss, I miss all this, you know, I've got all these pictures, I look at all these pictures, everything like that, you know, and, and my family uh, have taken me in, the Baba the Hasim, everything, and, and, um, and everything, you know. But it's wonderful that you, you came to live in Israel, that you fulfilled I've always, I've always wanted to come to Israel. Unfortunately, my mom couldn't, my mom, my mom couldn't come, you know, she wanted to come, she wanted, she, she was, she was, she was. So desperate to come, but unfortunately she couldn't come. She passed away 11 years ago. She's been in South Africa. We wanted to be her, yeah, but my brother said no, everything I get, you know. And, and isn't that? I can't, can't, say, can't say another thing. 
My father, my Abba, um, how can I say this? He never said he's a Zionist. He didn't say that. He never said he says he, um, he was born in Israel. He never said he's a Zionist, nothing like that. He used to go to Yomas with like that, but, but I don't think I don't, I don't think he's, I don't think he said I don't, I don't remember I don't remember I don't remember I don't remember. But he never said never said he was uh, he was a Zionist. But you know he coming to be buried here and instilling the love for Eretz Israel to his family. Right. It's just a label to say I'm a Zionist, but he he yeah. lived it. He lived it, and he always had it. He went through. He went. He went through. 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 He. He. Uh, like he wasn't. He wasn't a Zionist, but um. But he. He went through. He went through like in the, like uh, when he was when he lived in the during the British and his and his and his grandparents and his Mazel and Boba, in the Turks, and um and everything like that. Where they came from? They came from the the Ukraine. Everything like that. You know. Captains are when he was 27, my great 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 Zayda, and and everything, and when he was 27 years old, and with the help of Sir Marty Fur and everything like that, you know, and it's amazing. Chaim, you know, your father, the the label Zionist, he he buried what, what what Zionism is. Yes, yes. Because his children are here, and he's uh, mm. he instilled that love of 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 Zion, of of Zion to his right, family and, right, right. and to his congregants. I'm sure a lot of the people that he taught by mitzvah come up to you and say, yo, yo, Abba taught me. You know how many people, you know how many people here in Israel my father taught? You know how many people in South Africa my father taught? You know that? And, and they are teaching, their, their sons are, teach, are teaching. I can, I can, and like my father, my father taught, my father taught um, Wayne Sachs. Wayne Sachs was teaching a um, thing, Kenny Brody. My father taught. My father taught Kenny Brady Nusach. He taught, and, and and he taught. He taught his son. His son is teaching people. My father's Nusach till this very day. So he left an indelible impression on so yes, many generations. Yeah. So that was amazing. I'm telling you, it is. Okay, I just want to thank you, but this has been really, very, very special. Um, Thank you so much, Chaim. Sure. Wow. So, Chaim, okay. here's a picture of uh, a very distinguished picture of your father. Yes. You can see, and I really want to thank you, Chaim, because hearing, I remember going to Yeshiva College. I didn't live in Den Hazel, but uh, everybody knew Chazan uh, uh, Lerman. Right. And um, it was such a sweet to have heard him as well, and when I was in Den Hazel. And. Uh, May his memory be for eternal blessing. Yeah, thanks a lot, Les. Thanks and, very much. And uh, your father is very, he's looking down and he's smiling on his family here. Ah. And he's very proud of you, Chaim. And thank you for doing this incredible research and all these amazing pictures mm. that that you have yeah, found. Another, and another picture and another picture. This is another of the family. Wow. Hello, family and another thing. So, Chaim, you can see you're very, very um, passionate about uh, your yes. history and I'm very, very, I'm very perpetuating I'm your very, father's very, I'm memory. Very, I'm, very, I'm very, very passionate about about the history and um, and um, I'm very, I'm very involved. I'm very involved. And uh, this is another picture. Wow. So you must treasure these pictures. And uh, this picture is my 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 great great Zayda. This picture is about 1930 something. It's wonderful. 1920 something, 1920s. The picture of your your other. This one. This, this is amazing because this is this is how people remember your other. And this is a picture. This is a picture um, when he was young. Just imagine, and I just want to end up with this, uh, Chaim. Okay. When your Abba Davin, and especially your Mim Noraim, look how many people he affected, and his prayers went up to Shemaim, 
And your Abba was the, he was the cousin there. I'm just going to say, look, I can just say still one. the level. Yeah, I can, uh, still, can I just say, I just add something before, before we end it. I don't want to keep you too much. No, here. no, you can go there as long as you want. It's, uh, it's such a, it's good to be here. It's such a I remember my father wore a, a nylon kittel. And I remember, I remember when he finished, when he finished everything, he went into the, into the room, into the, the office there, the clerk room of the office. And he took the kettle off and he was schwitzing. It was water, schwitzing. And, and I mean sweating. You sweat, 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 sweat. And he did, and he had, and he had a heart problem. And the heart of Yom Kippur, he didn't take his tablets and he was a rat. One year he went very high, the lot fell and missed him by an inch like that. He had a magnificent voice. I mean, I mean, it was a gift from Shemaim. He learned he, he, he was in a room living choir and he was he was in the in the so he went, he's often sang solo and uh, he gave concerts in Israel. May your father's memory be for eternal blessing. Thanks. And thank you. And uh, I know your father is very proud of you. And I hope you can do it again. It's been such an honor and a privilege. Yeah. Thanks thank a you. lot, Les. Thanks. Okay. Um, can to learn that Chazan Lerman, a third generation Sabra, is to be a Chazan for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur support and the ensuring year. He was born in the old city of Shalom into a well-known baking family, also into a Hasidic and rabbinical family as well. His father and his grandfather being bakers as well. He has two older sisters and two younger brothers. When he was four years old, the family moved to the new city of Yerushalayim. In other words, it was Meisharim. From about the age of nine years old, he sang in the choir of the Shirat Yisrael Shul near Machane Uda. In other words, the, the Shlomo Zalma River Choir. Having a good soprano voice, he often sang solo. His father, who was a good bout filler, encouraged him in his singing. When he was by Mitzvah, his family moved to Betach Tikva where his father opened a new bakery. Chazan Lerman's two brothers still operate this bakery today. He worked in the bakery himself from the age of 15 for 23 years. During this time, he was often invited to, to daven in shows and sing at concerts. His voice was trained by the late Chazan Yitzhak Mann of operatic fame and Chazan of the main shul in Haifa. After being second cousin to cousin, labor the glance of the Tifer <coughs> of the Tiferet Svi Shul in Tel Aviv, he was appointed chief cantor of the main Herzliya Shul. He occupied this post for three years. He came to South Africa when he was invited to David at the German State Shul for the for the Yamim Nuraim some five years ago. The Dolphin Shaw then appointed him as their cousin. He has fulfilled this post for the last four years. His wife Miriam is from Johannesburg and they have two young children, Chaim and Batsheva. Chazan Lerman is a modest, quiet, unassuring person who will be liked by all who come into contact with him. He has a strong lyric baritone voice with a, with a wide range. We are sure that the congregation will enjoy his rendering of the solemn but beautiful tones during the coming high festivals. We wish him and his family a healthy and happy stay in our community. This concert, this concert was 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 in 1966. It was for a choir master by the name of choir master Watt, and that's what my abba told me. And a lot of chazonim sang 
different different pieces. Can you mention the names of the Chazanim? Uh, yes, sure. Uh, one is Chazan Osher Alchala. The other one is Chazan Pilchas Brett Brettman. Um, Chazan Eli Greenblatt. Chazan Mark Michal Dovidovitz. Chazan Asher Hanovitz. Which Chazan Asher Hanovitz is to this very day he dabbles in the Yeshurim. Um, Chazan um, Yunger Levi. Chazan um, Yitzhak Levin Ma'aba. Chazan Yosef Malavani in America. He was the Chazan of um, Yair Roshul. Um, Chazan Shlomo Mando was he, he he died in 1991. He died, He collapsed in the street on, on the second day of Rosh Hashanah, as I understand. Moshe Kraus, he lives in um, in the States. He's about he's about 90 today. Um, Chazan Reich, and then there's um, Chazan Rima. So your Abba was with the with the great with the greatest of the Chazonim. Greatest Chazonim. So may your your Abba's memory be for eternal blessing. There's almost there's almost a picture of how my Abba looked like when he was before he retired. Um, can I get it? Okay. And this is a picture of your Abba before he retired. Yes. You can see very distinguished. Absolutely. And the top is my is my father. Um, I think that sh that, that show was in the in the show already, and that one is me on my bar mitzvah, 1980. And this is all the this is all the this is all the chazonim, the the, the choir masters and the of the association IC6. That is my mom and my, my parents when they got married in 1966. This is my mom and, and my mom. This is my this is my parents and my Zayda. It's first time in South Africa. They 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 shorted his shirt and shorted his beard a bit. That's me taking South Africa. This is this is this is, this is half of the Lerman family. And it's, it's a bit bigger, but uh, we're trying to get the other half. And this is my Boba and Zayda. Members of the Cantors and Choir Masters Association, 1966, in South Africa. Are the names: um, Cantor Malavani, Reverend Sartovich, Choir Master M. Himmelstein, Rabbi Osher Alchala, Chairman, Choir Master Bilakin, Cantor Shlomo Mando, Cantor Moshe Stern. Kent uh, Michal Davidovitz, Reverend Friedman, Asher Hanovitz, Jay Stern, E. Greenblatt, S. Junger Levy, P. Brightman, Louis Rima, Chazon Yitzhak Lerman Mahaba, and Mendo Shechta. The Chazonim we couldn't make it were Chazon Bakon, Chazon Kamena, Moshe Kraus, Metzka, Reich. Schmuckler, Zav, and Zwick.
Oh.